Hey guys, it's CJ here, continuing my series of having a look at the different loadouts we can make with different qualities of items. We've had a little sneak peek at the possibility of a collector's loadout, which is something I'm working on for the future. And more recently, we had a look at the genuine items and we made some all genuine loadouts for some of the classes. And today I'm going to be looking at vintage. Now, uh, as the name suggests, vintage items are some of the older items in the game. It's a quality that's been around to kind of show the hats that were available before the Man Economy update. Now, that was back in 2011. And just to rewind, after trading was added into the game, it actually took three weapons to create a scrap metal. Obviously, these days it only takes two. So after the Man Economy update, Valve changed all the items and the hats in the game that existed prior to that update into the vintage items instead of being unique to kind of signify that these, these hats and weapons were around during the time that uh, you know, things were more expensive to craft. Um, and some of the items, you know, quite amusing because you've got the vintage vintage Tyrolean and the vintage vintage Merryweather um, but there's also some glitched items there are also some times you know people will say well hey how about the Bill's hat and how about the Max's head and how about the earbuds basically sometimes people accidentally deleted stuff from their backpack and it meant that uh, it was lost and they contact Steam support and Valve would give them back their item but accidentally giving them back in vintage form. This is why I've got a vintage Bills. It wasn't an original vintage hat. It's one, what we call one of the glitched vintages, which includes the Bills hat, the Max's head, the earbuds, uh, the soldier medal, and there's quite a few other different things. And of course, some of the weapons as well. We have got some rare weapons like the Fan of War and the Contra, which were available really, really short time before the Man Economy update, which allowed them to be created and turned into vintage before that be process became unavailable. So there's very few of those, but the only uh, there's some glitch weapons such as the vintage shortstop, which is extremely expensive, and uh, it's one of the glitch vintages. And I believe there's only about two or three existing left in the game. But anyway, um, just like I did before on my genuine loadouts, um, I tried to set myself some rules. Now a little spoiler. Okay, so there is only, um, there is no, sorry, there is no action item that is vintage. There's only one of the, one of the non-cosmetic slash weapon items that is vintage available, and that is the competitive matchmaking beta pass, okay? Now, that was turned into vintage if you had one of them early on, um, but you can't equip that in the action slot, so there, none of the classes have a vintage item in the action slot. So I'm not counting that as a complete loadout because it's really not available, otherwise none of the classes can have a complete loadout. Now, try and think which classes can have a complete loadout. Okay, which which of the classes out of the nine do you think are able to have a vintage, totally vintage loadout, including all weapons, all of their weapon slots and all of the cosmetic slots? Okay, have a think. Um, and like before, I set myself some rules trying to use the class specific hats as opposed to the all class ones. But unfortunately, because of the nature of the hats and they're quite old, and this was before really miscellaneous items were really a thing. There was only a couple of miscellaneous items that equipped different regions other than the top of the head. Um, so I've had to use the vintage pyrovision on a lot of the classes. Okay, so just bear that in mind. It's a hat that I have to reuse a lot, but I did want to try and get some uh, some all vintage loadouts. So anyway, enough of the talking. Let's head over to the loadouts and let's have a look, see what we can get. So we'll start off with Scout, and unfortunately, nope, you cannot have an all vintage loadout on Scout. Um, the weapons we got the Force of Nature, we got the Atomic Punch. And I've got the Vintage Fan of All, which is one of the rarest uh, vintages. That is, uh, non-glitched ones, that is. Um, and there, there's actually quite a few items that you can use for the Scout. Um, we've got the Vintage Bonk Helm, which is obviously what you got from creating the Batter's Helmet, along with the Atomic Punch, and then you get the uh, the Bonk Helm and obviously the Pyrovision. But there's no other no other item that we can put in with the Scout to make an all vintage load loadout, unfortunately. So this is what we're left with. So we're going to move on to Soldier now. And Soldier as well cannot have an all vintage loadout. We've got all of the uh, the items here. The Contra, like I said before, is another one of those rare items at a very short craft window before the Man Economy update. So there was a very short space of time before you could actually craft them before they turned into vintage. And we got the Direct Hit, which was uh, the first unlock for um, the Soldier and the Escape Plan. Obviously, back then, 
um, the escape plan and the equalizer were all combined into one item, which was just called the equalizer, and it, uh, it had both of the, uh, the item's uh, effects. So you had the ability to run around faster, like you do with the escape plan, and it also did more damage the lower health you had. Um, so back then it was a very, very overpowered weapon, and when they did split it into the escape plan and the equalizer into two separate items, you did get a vintage version of both. So this one, you know, is technically a newer item, but um, it was originally part of the equalizer. And looking at here, this is my Tyrant's Helm that I used for a long, long time uh, before I got my unusual soldier hats and uh, the Pyrovision goggles here. So we're going to move on to Pyro. And bam, the Pyro is the first class that can have an all vintage loadout and it doesn't even use the the, uh, the pyrovision okay the pyro doesn't need pyrovision it doesn't need it to have an all vintage loadout so we look at this this kind of retro loadout for the pyro the back burner the flare gun and the extinguisher obviously back then when the extinguisher came out it was a lot stronger because it always critted no matter where you attacked from uh this was my uh, my first ever craft hat. actually i do have a video of it um from my channel it was back in 2010 and i saved up i think it was four refined metal on the pyro class token because back then i loved to play pyro and uh yeah this was what i made the brain slug um and uh, it's painted lime green for some reason even though it's pre pretty much green anyway um so that was my first time then we got the vintage foster's facade which came along with killing floor it's one of the uh, the items from that um, and that just changes the face so it's actually a, a miscellaneous item as well as the vintage whiskered gentleman and this was actually given to me uh, by a close friend of mine a long time ago he gave it to me as a birthday present a long long time ago so that's uh, that's that's a special item for me even after you know what has it been five six years um, I still remember who gave me that and why um, so there we go pyro is the first class that can have an all vintage loadout. obviously we're like i said before ignoring the action slot because there is no vintage items for the action slot unlike the you know like we had for genuine so we're gonna move on to demo man unfortunately demo man cannot have all vintage he's got the lock and load here um there's the vintage scratch resistance there's actually a few different vintage items like the shields and stuff like that you can have as vintage and there's a lot of different uh, melee weapons as well i've gone with the ulipool caber which obviously back then when it originally came out was a lot stronger um but unfortunately it did get a little bit of a nerf which uh probably if you're a medic main uh, you're pleased to hear so you're not going to get one hit by the the caber anymore um i've picked the demo man's throw which was one of the first hats for demo man and we have to use the pyrovision because there's no other miscellaneous items to wear for the demo man moving on to the heavy and the heavy does not either have an all vintage loadout unfortunately um, we start off with the Natasha. There's a couple of weapons that you can use here. We've also got the Sandwich, the uh, the original secondary lung unlock. Remember, for those of you who, I don't know, if anyone actually played back in the early days of TF2, you know, 2007, 2008, 2009, times like that, you know, if you played at the early days, there were no unlocks for items. There was no Sandwich for the Heavy. He had to run the, you know, the old stock shotgun loadout. And then we got the Vintage Killing Gloves of Boxing, one of the, the first unlocks for the fists and obviously that gives you a crit chance and i've picked the officers use shanker for my hat here i used to have a sunbeams one of these uh painted white that was my heavy loadout for a long time um and then we got the pyrovision goggles again there are no vintage cosmetic items that cover anywhere else on the body or the face for the heavy so he does not have an all, all vintage loadout we go on to the engineer and he is so close but I don't know. I'm going to leave this to you guys. Do you count this as an all vintage loadout or do you not count it? Because the engineer obviously has this extra slot down here. He has the construction PDA. And as everyone probably knows, there is only one thing that you can put in there that well, one different quality item. And that is the strange PDA. There's no vintage one. We had this problem when we had the genuine loadouts as well, um, if you remember back. So we've got the vintage Frontier Justice here as the shotgun. We've got the Wrangler and the Gunslinger. The old classic unlocks um, but there's no pda only pda we got is the strange one moving on to the hats though obviously you can wear different things so we've got the texas 10 gallon that's the hat that i've picked as just the regular hat and the vintage mining light it obviously does look like a hat but it is this kind of miscellaneous item that just goes on to hats so it's a, it's a miscellaneous you can wear it with pretty much anything and uh, that allows the engineer to have this kind of double hat thing going on and then we throw on the pyrovision goggles as well and he does have the triple cosmetic so you know you could say this is an all vintage loadout but you know technically speaking there's no different pda so we can't have uh 
you know, an, a true all vintage loadout on Engineer. Um, but I'm going to leave it with you guys whether you're going to count that one or not. We're going to move on to the Medic, and the Medic can have an all vintage loadout. So I've picked the crossbow here. Um, the original unlock was obviously the Blutzauger, but I like the crossbow so much. So I've put that there. And the Kritzkrieg, the Kritzkrieg, I remember when that first came out and everyone was just like, wow, you get crits instead of going invincible. That was a long, long time ago. And then the Ubersaw, obviously, um, one of the unlocks you can have. you got other items he can have here, such as the Amputator, which is one of the ones not on the level of the Contra or the Fan of War. But it's on a different level where there's some items like the half satoichi, like the kunai, like the amputator and the buffalo stick sandwich, which are, you know, fairly rare. So they're slightly more expensive than your regular vintages. But we'll move on to the hats now. We've got this vintage, vintage Tyrolean, um, which is painted away. It's one of my uh, hats that I used to wear um, for medic. And uh, we're using the pyrovision goggles to cover the eyes. It is needed, unfortunately. Um, on pretty much every class to have the multiple cosmetics, but this was the um, one of the original As it was called back then miscellaneous items an item that you could wear with a hat and this was actually my first miscellaneous item drop um, my first hat drop was actually um, The blokes bucket hat for the sniper, um, but this was one of my first uh, First hat drops technically and it was the uh, it was the medic mask. So I was, I was like, oh wow! Obviously, it changed a vintage. This was was an item drop. Um, so yeah, that does allow the medic to have an all vintage loadout because he's got the face mask, the eyes with the pyrovision goggles, and a hat. Moving on to sniper, and the sniper also can have an all vintage loadout. We've got the huntsman, which uh, the old bow and arrow, which was one of the original unlocks, as well as the gerate. And we've got the tribalman's shiv there, which obviously you hit someone with it and they bleed away. Um, and onto some of the hats, I've picked the vintage trophy belt, um, which is pretty much like a sniper, sniper orientated themed you can get. And the vintage master's yellow belt. Now the master's yellow belt was originally just a hat. because obviously it covers the head area, but because it's basically just a bandana, um, Valve turned it into... Um, a misc, a miscellaneous item that you can wear with hats. So I've actually got a yellow energy, uh, yellow energy. What is yellow energy? It doesn't exist, guys. I've got a green energy, sorry, a green energy yellow belt. Um, and I had that as a combination with uh, my purple energy uh, villain's veil, which allows me to have the white energy combo that you, a lot of you have probably seen on my sniper. Um, and I actually got the yellow belt before it became a mis miscellaneous item. So it did go up in price. Um, but originally, uh, you know, an all vintage loadout wouldn't have been possible um, until they made this. Uh, this made this a miscellaneous item, and then we throw on the pyrovision goggles. So basically, there's three kind of cosmetics here, and they all cover the top half of his head, um, which makes really kind of, you know, odd looking, odd looking thing. Because we don't have the hat going on, we just have we just have the trophy belt, we just have the the yellow belt, and we have the pyrovision goggles. So it's all just kind of. Uh, just kind of lots of bandanas and stuff going on there for the sniper, but that doesn't mean he can have an all vintage loadout. And finally, we move on to spy, and no, the spy suffers from the same kind of curse that the engineer does, as it does have an extra item slot, but it doesn't have a vintage item for it. So we've got the vintage ambassador, obviously one of the first unlocks for the spy. We've picked the kunai, which is obviously, like I said earlier, um, one of the slightly more expensive vintage items available. Could have used a couple of different items here. And we've got the dead ringer as well, which again was one of the uh, the original unlocks. But the sapper does not have a vintage item. We can have a look at the ones available. We've got genuine, we've got unique, we've got festive, we've got collector's festive, we've got strange, but you know, there is no vintage one because there was no different uh sapper available the original the only different sapper available is of course the red tape recorder and until that was released there was no other item so there was no vintage sapper available i mean all of these are basically just reskins of the original one so no all vintage loadout for the spy unfortunately because of that reason um but when it comes to the cosmetics we've got the fedora i've got a burning fedora so i thought i'd just use this one on this loadout we have to use the pyrovision goggles for the eyes um, as there is no uh, face covering um, you know like the phantom or anything like that none of those are vi available in a vintage format and then we've got the camera beard one of the oldest uh, 
one of the oldest miscellaneous items and obviously that covers you know the facial area the chin so that is able to be uh, equipped on the spy to allow him to have the triple cosmetics but like i said with the engineer the spy and the engineer do have those four weapon item slots which means uh, they have an extra one and that, unfortunately they don't have a vintage one for either of those so um, that does mean the spy can't have an all vintage loadout but it does show that some of them can but that missing that action slot does not have anything so you know you could say none of them have all vintage loadouts because of the lack of that item slot um, so you know let me know what you guys think in the comments do you think it's uh do you think any of these are really all vintage loadouts or not obviously i missed out on the genuine loadouts i do have a genuine taunt which is the genuine shred alert the guitar taunt um which you got from having one of the uh from one of the games i think it was uh I can't remember what it was called now um, but there is no vintage taunts because obviously there was no taunts existed no custom taunts existed before uh, the man economy update so there you go guys those are the vintage loadouts that are possible in the game obviously you can customize some of them with different weapons um, next time I'm going to be looking at some all strange loadouts so we're going to be trying to have all strange items in all of the different slots and of course on the cosmetic slots see if we can get some combinations that are allowed to have strangers on every slot but thank you for watching your ideas have been brilliant i've got a list of all the different kind of loadouts and ideas for new videos in the future so please 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 keep giving me your suggestions keep giving me your feedback i try and read every comment possible and a lot of your advice and ideas have been really really helpful so thank you so much for that um, but i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed the different types of loadouts we could make up and uh, like i said please post in the comments and i'll see you guys next time